If you're like me and you are constantly making ads, not only for yourself, but maybe for your clients if you're a marketing agency, and you need to mock them up for Facebook and Instagram, you may have found it challenging if you're just using Facebook Ads Manager. And that's what we're gonna cover in today's video. Before we get started, I want to ask you to like and subscribe to this video and get more great videos along the way. So I'm Sean with Blue Cow Marketing and let's dive right in. So if you're not familiar with all the extra tools that are part of the Business Manager Suite for Facebook, you may not be aware that on the left-hand side, if you scroll down, there's this great little option here called Creative Hub. And in this video, I'm gonna actually mock up an ad for one of our clients because it's something that I need to do. And I thought, hey, you know what? Let's make a video out of it so that you guys can get some added value. Now, if you get access to multiple accounts, when you go into Creative Hub that are under your business manager, on the top right-hand side, you can actually pick those ad accounts from the list here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the ad account for the client that I'm working with, and it's gonna bring up their Creative Hub here. What I love about this is you get to actually not only create the mock-up of the ad, but you actually get to then make it available in Ads Manager so that once it's approved, you don't have to go and redo it again, which is one of the headaches with using a third-party mock-up system. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on create mock-up in the top right hand side, and it's gonna bring us into this view right here. I like to work on the top left and work my way down just like you would be building any ads. So let's give it a name and naming conventions are extremely important for me. So we're gonna call this one here um, after the storm webinar add one. We're gonna pick the page that we're gonna work with and it's gonna automatically choose the Instagram account. Now in this case, we're just using a static image. So we're gonna go ahead and click add image. Now I already uploaded the main image here because I started this video before and then the phone rang and I had to redo it. So you know that happens to us from time to time. I'm gonna click on this and this is a square image, 1080 by 1080. Now in this view, if you haven't done ads in a while, you may not have seen this. So this is where it looks at the other placements for stories and reels, or right column searches and instant articles. The 1080 by 1080 fits perfect in the middle for feed and in-stream videos, but it doesn't work so well here. Now, if you don't have your creative design in these other formats, you could choose original, and what it will do is it'll actually crop it and make it fit in there, but that's not always the best way. We use Canva, it makes it really easy to build the initial ad and then say resize, and then pick 1080 by 1920, which is this vertical format, or a 1200 by 628, which is this horizontal format. And then we just move the elements around. And I did that. So let's go ahead and click replace. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload. So we're looking for the 1080 by 1920. We wanna make sure which one it is. It's not that one, it's just that one there. So we're gonna click quickly, click upload. I'm gonna put negative little asterisks here. It says about it's not the right, something's not right with it, but it is always right, it always works, it always fits. So uh, Facebook, I think you're just crazy. So we're gonna replace, do the exact same thing for the horizontal one. And it's the 1200 by 628, and I think it's number one, and it is. Now I'm not gonna build out all three of the ads in here. Now here's something that I wanna to bring to your attention. This happens from time to time. I put them all in there, and now you see they're all out of whack, right? It made that horizontal one for every one that was here. Um, and that's kind of an annoyance. So what you have to do, and it doesn't always do that, it's a little bit of a bug, um, is you just have to go replace. They're already uploaded, so they're there. And now you got all three. We're gonna click done. And now they're all placed in those placements. Now the primary text, extremely important. I already pre-wrote this, so I'm going to just copy and paste my primary text in here. I'm gonna grab the URL, copy. Now the difference with this is when you were actually building out like some of the different ad sets for different objectives like conversions and things like that. Um, you don't have to worry about that type of ad. You're just putting in the, really the base creative for this. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the headline. So I'm gonna call this webinar after, actually we're gonna call it, I'm gonna take a part of it. We want your headline to be kind of you know, catchy, right? Top three secrets of successful investing. That's perfect. And put in the description here, which will be extra. That adds in there. I don't get too much um, out of the description side. It doesn't show up too many places. Um, but we'll put it in there as well. 
website, that's fine. Display link, learn more. Um, I'm going to actually choose, I think there's a sign up. Now, if you're like me, I would think that there should be an option or be awesome as an option for custom and you can actually write in what that CTA is. Because this is a webinar and we're gonna do most of the selling in the ad, we're gonna do sign up versus learn more. So that's that part of it. Now, if I wanna make this available in Ads Manager, I could then click this over and slide it over or if we're going to make it um, available. So what I look to do with this is if I'm doing, let's say a bunch of variety creative uh, and I'm, I'm giving it to a client that says, here's like five different versions uh, and they say, okay, I like version two, then I come in later and turn on version two. But in this case, I, I built most of the creative, so I'm just gonna turn that on anyway. I could always turn it off later. Now, how do you get that preview? So what you do is you click on the three dots here, you click share link, turn the link sharing on, choose your options, so 30 days or 60 days. That's the length of which that is uh, available. Uh, and then what we can do here is here's the URL. We can simply copy that and then use that for the preview, uh, which was what I'll do. Here's another little time-saving tip for you. If you need to make multiples of this and you're just changing up the creative, which is what I'm doing in this case, I don't go and click create mockup again. Simply go and duplicate that ad. It's always gonna be the first one. We can go back in, change this to add two. Doesn't put the copy of like you do get an ads manager. And then you just come down here and hit delete. I'm gonna have to add the image and we're gonna upload the second version. Now, in this case, I could go and reverse the order of which all this stuff is. Doesn't matter, I don't have to put the square one in first. See, it'll go there and then I can just replace on this way. And we're gonna pick this one here. Nope, it's gonna be this one here. So as you can see, I'm just reversing the order. Let's see if it does the whole um, wacky thing. And it did do that wacky thing again. Um, but I'm just going to replace and upload. And we're going to choose that one there. All right. Now I may need to go fix them all. Yeah, that's just what we did. And for some reason, I don't understand um, why it does that. It's like you have to upload them all and then they'll show up that way. And because I've done that, I'm keeping all the other creative in place, URLs, everything like that. I don't have to really do anything else um, aside, but, aside from coming and generating uh, that new link that's there. Um, and we might as well do the last one because this one's going to be a video. Exact same process. We're going to go three. Uh, we're going to delete. But in this case, instead of an image, we are going to upload our favorite creative, which is a video. Go here after the storm video ad. And all we did, we used Canva for generating this. It uploads. The previews won't show up until the upload is done. Uh, there's no audio to it. It's basically just a static um, ad, but it's got motion to it because we are using one called after the storm. We put some images of, of moving hyperlapse clouds uh, in behind. And that's what I, what I like to do when testing out different creative. See, you can see that one happening there is instead of making it full motion video, just add some kind of motion to the ad to catch the, the attention uh, during the scroll. So very easy to do. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna generate all of the links for all three ads, fire them over to the client for approval, and then be able to go into Ads Manager, build the ad, uh, campaign the ad sets, and then just boom, load them from uh, the Creative Hub. So that's how you do it. A great way to manage all your creatives uh, using Facebook's Creative Hub and save you a lot of time, headache, uh, and frustration. So again, thank you for watching this video. Like I mentioned, if you like this, you're finding value in this, you've got a question, comment below the video. I'll answer those questions. Please like, subscribe to our channel. Love putting this out there for you. Thanks for watching.